Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. COVID-19 lockdowns may have caused brain inflammation, neuroinflammation. I want to share with you a study that I read about last week. This is an article in the Boston Globe. COVID-19 lockdown measures may affect brain health of people who aren't infected. MGH study shows. MGH is Massachusetts General Hospital, one of the most well-known hospitals in the country. Lockdown measures aimed at preventing the spread of COVID-19 may have an adverse effect on the brain health even of people who've avoided infection during the pandemic. The study was published in the journal Brain Behavior and Immunity. Researchers found that following lockdown, study participants demonstrated elevated brain levels of markers of neuroinflammation compared to pre-lockdown participants. Well, isn't that quite something? One of those markers is known as a translocator protein and participants who reported a higher burden of symptoms related to mood and mental and physical fatigue showed higher levels of translocator protein in certain brain regions compared to people reporting little or no symptoms. Researchers arrived at their findings by analyzing brain imaging data, conducting behavioral tests and collecting blood samples. Our study demonstrates an example of how the pandemic has impacted human health beyond the effects directly caused by the virus itself. Now the link to that article is down below, but as always, it's good to go to the actual source of the article, the study itself. And here it is for you. The link is also down below. Brain Behavior and Immunity Journal. The Pandemic Brain, Neuroinflammation in Non-Infected Individuals During the COVID-19 Pandemic. And it's got some highlights here of what they found. So the first word that actually went through my head when I read that article is nonsense. Nonsense not because I disagree with the study results, but nonsense because these researchers who, of course, are probably very well qualified and educated, had to go through this long process to find out something which has seemed obvious to most of us or a lot of us for a long, long time. And that is that lockdowns have caused immense issues well beyond the actual effects of the virus itself. The mental health toll is absolutely enormous. And a couple of weeks ago, I made a video about how depression rates had soared, how we've seen unprecedented rates of lethal overdoses, so absolutely tragic. But this gets to what I call the mind-body link in medicine. When people are depressed, stressed, anxious, it causes devastating effects on our bodies. Our stress hormones, cortisol and adrenaline, go into overdrive and what affects the body soon affects the brain or mind. So it is no surprise at all that if people are going through bad, tough, anxious times, there are going to be increasing rates of mental health issues. And that is obviously going to show up on certain types of neuroimaging, which is what these researchers found. This is an absolutely tragic topic and fingers crossed as we come out of the pandemic now and we resume some sense of normalcy, all of us can get back to more normal lives and put this behind us. Fingers crossed. Let me know your thoughts below, but I predict more and more studies will come out showing these types of issues, which are completely non-virus related, but related to our response to the virus, in particular lockdown and restrictions. Thanks for listening. Dr. Sunil Dan, MedStroke Lifestyle Medicine. We'll speak again very soon.